Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Peggle and the Peggle Roguelike. Once again, exploring the new update and custom loadouts. I decided to replace the Dag Orb with a Refresh Orb, which is something I've not done too much of lately. And that's because the game has, or the devs have added some cool refresh synergy to the game. They've added this relic that says every four times the board is refreshed, randomly gain one Must Circle, which is plus one plus zero, or one Spinesse, which is plus zero plus one. So it's very fun. And I thought it'd be fun to just kind of go full refresh. Not like it actually did much there, but we'll see what I can do. Dude, Jack Orb Lantern is so much fun. And actually, low stat, high amount of peg hit strategies are actually really good with refresh, of course. So I probably want this. I want more refresh. I would take Matri Orbshka. This is an interesting build. I'm just curious to see how it goes. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And of course, hoping to come across, well, the new boss again. That was a fun time. Let's see what these question marks have for me. Do I want fireballs? They're good, but I'm just not in the mood right now. It doesn't really heavily synergize. Usually the Peglin runs are kind of just see what I get, try to make stuff work, but I enjoy a crazy synergy as well. And honestly, I would kill for super boots for just for some consistent healing. Don't know what it takes to actually fall down the middle, but this is my attempt. And if I went to the left and got the must circle, that's fine too, but I love super boots. Now I'll just make my way towards the elite fight on the left. I guess I could take a regular fight in the way as well. Oh, I can lose a level one stone. Awesome. Yeah, knowing that I can still get the elite fight afterwards, I might as well go to the right. Let the gaming begin. Oops. Soften it up. Now, honestly, since I have this refresh orb, I kind of want to just try to get a few refreshes going. See what this ends up looking like. And hit some bombs along the way. So one more use, and then I will get either a must circle or a spinesse. Although, don't even want that now. Because, I mean, I'm about to win, so please don't hit the refresh. Shit. Well, what did I even get? Oh, I got the spinesse. Neat. So yeah, I was thinking like I could have it stockpiled for the next fight. But honestly, I'm sh Well, yeah, actually, I would have liked it stockpiled for the elite fight, but it's okay, I get an upgrade. Either go to the top two times. Didn't this used to have stats? They may have nerfed it. It was powerful. And this also refreshes the board when this orb is discarded. They also changed this that it's up to 10 times. Probably because they introduced this relic and they didn't want a super infinite combo. I'll upgrade it just so I can rush tier three. And uh, for the record, I actually don't feel great about the elite fight. But we'll see what happens. This fight is always fun. So let's see what sort of bonus damage I may get. Not a bad start. Okay, so this will give me a ton of refreshes. Like it's guaranteed to slide over a ton of pegs, got the board refresh. And if it keeps sliding, it keeps refreshing. <laughs> Just losing a bit of speed. Oh yeah, so I got plus two on non-crit. So it's just better for me to not crit. Well, damn it, all the crits right there. I can't avoid it. What a terrible problem to have. Well, whatever. I'll take the power slide and sometimes miracles happen. <laughs> I actually cannot believe that happened. I was starting to say it as if. That is, I mean, I've been on the unlucky end of that before, so it is nice to be on the lucky end. You know, where I like actually want to hit the crit and or refresh and don't. I, I've, I've had the opposite happen, so it's cool to see that it can actually go in my favor. That is honestly very lucky. Let's see, I want to send this straight down. Nah, not my best shot. Because I need to get to that refresh somehow. I might skip towards Jack Orb Lantern, because if I can hit the refresh, then spawn again on top, that's pretty good value. Or at least having two stabs at the refresh seems nice. Meh. All right. Ooh, but hold on, I got the refresh orb right here. And this is six pegs, so I slide through all these and the board refreshes. Seems perfect. I skipped one. Yeah, all right. I mean, that happens. All right, let's see if I can skip over the crit again. Nah. Uh, uh, hey, the one time was perfect. And I got a refresh. I'm still going to get hit, though. I mean, this, this fight hurts like a bitch. Damn, I got so much non-crit damage. Not that it matters. It's, it's over, pretty much. I made a bad shot with the refresh orb, though. I probably could have saved 22 damage if I had a slightly better shot. Well, I don't think I'm going to die. I'm just going to take upgrades. So this just gives one additional hit on the first refresh. Didn't this also used to refresh on more often pegs, or was that only the critable? 
I, I don't use this one too much, so I guess I've been forgetting. I will take this upgrade, though. And Mental Mantle's nice, but I think I'd rather have more bombs. And I think I would just want the chest. I'll skip over the fight. It's mostly because there's more healing here. Okay, well, I guess I got the fight. It's not like I'm missing the chest. This might even be good. Yeah, depending on how things pan out, this actually might be a good thing. All right, let me try. Yeah, there we go. Just detonate one bomb. And we're chilling. And hopefully now I can get the other bomb. Oh, perfect. And just one goon left to go. This refreshes on first peg hit. So I'll gladly take it. Fun. So now it does just as good on non-crits as it does on crits. I'll take another refresh. Because I would like to hope that the Jack Orb Lantern can get me there. I mean, I don't know. There's the pegs that are missing that used to be bombs. They're awfully annoying. I don't know what to do about the whole thing. Just hope I can find damage. Okay. Just hit two pegs. Easy. Cheeky refresh. Maybe an upgrade. Jack Orb Lantern. Yeah, I should upgrade. I can't be a coward. I can't afford to be one. I'll just try to get some nice post-fight healing. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. Sometimes it does not work out. This time it might. Three heal. Not complaining. What's in the box? All attacks of Echo 3. I'll grab a question mark, but I'll probably avoid the Elite. Unless if this is the greatest question mark ever. Well, I do start with a Refresh Orb. I mean, this might be a good fight for me at least. Let's see how this plays. All right. So I got plus m one must circle. I'm gonna target, yeah, I'll target the one that's kind of being hurt. I gotta hit some bombs though. I mean, nothing matters unless I blow all this up. Oh, this is not a, oh, that's a good start. Pretty good. Too bad it still hurts. But I am one cool bomb away from winning. No, I'm not. Need two bombs. Well, this will surely win. And there we have it. Upgrade an orb. Dude, there's actually no attack bonus for Jack Orb Lantern. This thing used to be a 3-4, right? At tier 3? Or no, maybe it was 1-2, 1-2, then 2-3. I guess my memory's off. Either way, it's more fun to get it back at the top. I'll take the upgrade. Oh, damn it. All the pegs are at the elite side. But I do get a ton of healing if I go there. You know what, how about I stop being a little bitch and heal up a bit? Oh, you know what? Eight healing and avoided the elite. Hmm, that's uh, not bad. Especially since this is a pretty favorable fight with all these bombs here. Okay. I need to detonate bombs, so I'll do the one that gives me a ton of chances. Just fall in the middle. There we go, that's perfect. Yeah, even with less damage, it's still a ton of fun. <laughs> Where else can you get that kind of absolute pog nation? And there we go. No oh, well, I'm upgrading stones now. I might take 15 HP over stones, just so I can be safe against the final fight. Maybe like this? That was pretty good. Maybe it was a coward's move. Maybe I could have gotten away with upgrading a stone. It's, it's very tough to say. Skip for Jack or Lantern. Ooh, if I can hit that crit relic, that'd be nice. I don't think I'll be so lucky, though. Yeah, that uh, shot was a little unfortunate. But this refresh will really get things going. It was okay. Plus one on non-crits, always a welcome sign. And I crit, an overkill anyway. Let's keep going Jack Orb Lantern. Get a cool refresh in the middle, maybe a bomb. Soften up some bombs, could I finish them off, possibly? Looks like that's not gonna happen. Okay. And let's keep refreshing. 
plus two, plus three. Or no, plus one, plus one. Oh boy, yeah, this, this is nice while I can get his stacking. I should try to get a little thinner if I can, both in the deck and real life, you know? You know, you can always afford to lose a few pounds. Let's see though, I mean, damn, these are nice stats. This is, this is a baller synergy. So I see this will excel in long fights. Poltergeist is nice here, especially since it would be my first AoE. Yeah, it's smart to have AoE of some sort. It is not good to keep adding things to my deck. Because it means I get to the refresh less often. But I mean, I'm picking my proper orbs. Oh, this is just a nice fight. I'm exercising my constant right to skip. Yeah, that's a winner. Thank you for playing. Let's keep it going. Refresh into some bombs. There we go. I do admit though, I see why they capped it out at 10 times. I mean, this would be super disgusting OP. I wonder though, maybe they could like up that cap slightly as it levels up. Just an idea, but Poltergeist now, and I can get some pretty sweet healing in here. Ooh, assuming it doesn't go to waste, that's fine. Oh, that was pretty good too. Yeah, I am prepped and ready for the boss fight. Let the gaming begin. Nice bounce, yeah, full in the center is what I was hoping for. Two refreshes, so no real progress. I'll make my way towards a Jack Orb Lantern. Try to hit that refresh. Nice. Ooh, if I could hit that other one, it could happen. There we go. So it's a nice buff. Bonus damage on crits, but I don't think it counts for this shot. It might though. Who knows? All right. Do refresh or skip. See if I can soften up some of the bombs in here. Well, that's all I did. Soften them up. A little disappointing. Of course, I'm going Refresh Orb. I want the crit, but there's no guarantee. Hey, I forget. Does this slow my momentum or give me extra bounce? I hope it's extra bounce. Nope, it's slow momentum. It's bad. Well, Poltorb guy's time. Not a good shot for me. E. Okay, this is basically just hit the refresh or the crit and then do a ton of damage. Thanks to all these pegs. No bombs yet? There we go. That is a little disappointing. I think I'll just hit the refresh. Got the crit, which is nice. Oh, I've only got a few shots left. Hit this refresh. So I'm one refresh away from getting good stuff. Oh, this will be nice. If I send this all the way to the left, maybe I could get a bomb? No. I think that actually would have been better with the stone. Well, Jack Orb Landers got to carry me here. I got four damage on crit, a ton of pass through, th through the top, a lot of potential damage. Does it get there, though? Oh, if I can detonate those bombs on the right side, that'd be perfect. Oh, okay. I'm a few bombs away from just winning, so I'm going to launch this in here, guaranteed to hit some bombs, finish it off with casually four HP. Wasn't even worried. Let's see now. Minus two, minus two is pretty bad for me. Uh, minus one orb discord is pretty bad. I guess I got to go durable pegs. Durable pegs is actually great for the refresh orb. So this is honestly heavy synergy. It's just heavy synergy with everything. Like every time I see a boss relic and one of them is the gift that keeps on giving, I kind of have to try to talk myself out of the gift that keeps on giving just because I get it so many times. And anytime I get a refresh, I just want to gun for it. Normally I preserve refreshes, but that is different because uh, refreshes do something for me. Also, I learned something new about these uh, shields because the patch notes came out. I was expecting they were just kind of funny, durable pegs, but they're actually evil pegs. They're shielded pegs where hitting up a couple times doesn't actually give you any real damage. You have to hit them enough times to break it, but if you break a shield on one of the knights, then you can get the cool damage you've been missing out on. So let's see, I got plus two, plus one. This is a pretty nice crit shot if I've ever seen one. Uh, way to actually hit the crit. It didn't matter. I guess I destroyed everything. And this will just finish things off. Or not. 
that's disgusting. Well, now I just gotta hope I hit a bomb. Probably won't happen though with the way things are going. Please! Damn you. And it's over. Interesting, so I think I'll go Polterb Geist. I'm not too worried about my current HP mounts. Right side has more question marks, so I'll always take that. I think also with durable pegs, I do get more healing. Unfortunately, I went left. Good news is there's a good number of question marks here, just slightly fewer. Oh, these refreshes in the middle are actually baller for the build, huh? Let me actually start with the... Oh, no, I, I can't shoot up. I, I guess I can hit the bomb. Yeah, I, I tried to aim it, so I hit the bomb, and I did hit it. Ooh, yeah, baller refreshing. That's nice. Fairly good damage, too. Plus one, plus one. I, I can do better. Let's both refresh and crit, though. Nice. Do a fun little Jack Orb Lantern with a crit of his own. I also noticed in the patch notes, but honestly should have noticed during the actual game that uh, they've added more bombs to the second floor because this floor absolutely dicks over non-AOE builds, which is greatly appreciated. I, I do love the absurd number of bombs. And like I said, I mean, they've been making nothing but good changes. There's been some stuff that have been like, huh, what's going on here? But it's mostly out of confusion rather than any claim of it really being good and or bad. So let's get refreshing. I'm expecting a solid maximum refreshes this time. Um, I don't know actually if I got max, but I got a lot. Plus three, plus four. Should be enough for an easy kill pretty much no matter what. So this is fun. Oh, another refresh orb. Gladly, I'll take that. I want to see if I can get some healing where I get the peg up top. Oh, I messed it up. You know what? Let's just do some basic, basic shootery. If I don't heal much, I don't heal much. I was hoping to get it stuck up top, but that's a lot. Oh, do I want the healing relic? I mean, yes, honestly. Yeah, especially when I have the gift that keeps on giving. I always want the infernal ingot. Nice. This is a fun build. And it's only getting funner. Strangely though, this fight may be very tough for me. Because, uh, yeah, I take a lot of damage coming back. I mean, good news is I can still heal like crazy. Also, I think I'll just go to refreshing. So the reason, though, I was talking about how I feel like refresh or level 3 needs more stuff, and that's because, like, look at the difference between level 1 and level 3. The only difference is that you get one additional refresh on the first hit, which, I mean, is very good. It's a nice tier 3 thing. But then also refresh the board when this orb is discarded, which is rarely going to be used. Discarded does not mean removed from the playing field. It specifically means if you just choose to not use the orb, then you get a refresh, which I mean is maybe fine in some builds, but not if you're trying to go for a refresh build. It's just, it, do, it barely improves is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I hit my maximum refreshes. And I get some sick damage. So I've got good non-crit damage. Still wanna hit some bombs. That I'm probably gonna hit the crit, but that's okay. Oh, I actually did not max out on my crits. All right, well, it's a nice pull orb, guys. Time the mirror does not hurt me back when I do this. I don't remember if pull orb, guys. Does half damage? Let's see. No, it's times two. Something is, it might be Orbalisk that does half damage, I'm not sure. I'm just stopping to think if I really want to spend two upgrades just so the very first peg I hit can become a refresh. I think as we go further and further, that's less useful. So I'll just upgrade my stones for more damage. And it is nice not having to heal after a fight. Thank you, Ingot. I would like some max HP now. That's probably, besides refresh relics, those are the relics I'm hunting for the most. Jack Orb Lantern can be really good. Let's send it over this way. There's bombs here. Mm, didn't actually hit any of them, but you know, there are bombs there. I think on several occasions now, I've been so close to actually hitting a bomb. That was about as bad as you can get. Let's try that again. 
Just keep hitting bombs, trying to hit bombs. Finally. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, but bombs do half damage against shields. Uh, what do I do here? Probably refresh. I actually don't like Poltorb Geist on this map. Pretty good. Nice. Now I feel good about Poltorb Geist. Mainly because it's not actually needed and the bomb does everything. Funny how that happens. And none of this excites me. Time for my chest. My enemies don't get their extra turn for my first reload. Not bad. Honestly, I think I'll just hang a hard left. Additional chest. I don't really need the fight. It just slows me down. Plus one, plus zero. And keep hanging left. Extra question mark may be nice. Okay, so I'll start with the refresh just so I can get that instant buff. It is a plus damage on non-crit. And actually, it looks like it did apply right now. No, wait, no, that was my other relic. That gives plus one, plus zero, the basic blade. Don't get it mixed up. This one's gonna be good though. I'll still aim for the refresh because I don't think this counts towards the refresh count, if you will. Like, I think the reason that uh, besides balance that they may have uh, put a cap on the refresh orb, not having 10X is because things are getting stuck. Well, just the theory. Dude, Polter Geist is cracked right now. How about I start with the, one of these and just bounce it around and that's probably game. Wait. Yep. Love it. This is a sweet, sweet build. I'll go for a tier three stone so we can become another threat. I think I've been finding lately that tier three stones are honestly fine enough threats. I can make them work. It does not feel bad to take this shot. So now I'm just going to be refreshing non-stop and bombing, hopefully. It's an okay number of refreshes. Here we go. Ah, it happens. Uh, now, unfortunately, Jack Orb Lantern is going to attack this back enemy, so I'm just going to have the stone shoot instead. So I can at least guarantee that I wipe out the front dude. And this will probably finish him off. Nice. Good time. Full heal as well. Upgrade. I think I'll keep upgrading stones. More damage. The wall. I think I have a pretty good wall build. Whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage to targeted enemy equal to the number of pegs restored. My next refresh synergy relic. Now that's fun. I'm gonna... Oh... I just skipped a level 2 stone for level 1 stone, thinking it would get me close to the refresh orb, but it actually doesn't. Super genius play. Uh, depending on the run out, though, it probably won't matter. If I deal 750 damage, it won't. If I deal, like, significantly less than 750 damage, it won't matter. I think it's looking like it won't matter. I've hit enough bombs to offset any damage short of 750. Yep. 100% good. If I hit a few more bombs, it would have mattered. Now, this is going to be nice. I mean, I'm always getting the max refreshes. On this map, there's no way I'm... There is a way I'm not. Damn it, things still get stuck. I mean, you hate to see it. I don't know what you're supposed to do in that situation. Just suck it up. I still think I'll be fine. Like, this is a damage per second check. I've got great scaling. I will think I'll just heavily prioritize refresh orbs early on. And then just super pop off late. I'll tell you what, though. This refresher course is a very enjoyable relic. Oh, I want to go Polterb Geist so bad. You know what? I will take the Polterb Geist anyway. Oh, honestly, that ended up being kind of bad. Wait, it could still be okay. No, it ended up being kind of bad. I was thinking I could get greedy in here, but uh, that's not the case. Please gain momentum. You hate to see it. Is that really going to keep happening? There we go. That's what I was hoping for. 
There we go. Plus two, plus three. That's enough refreshing for today. I think, uh, yeah, I just need to aim at the areas where the bombs have left their holes. Because actually, the bombs leaving empty spaces behind will work to my favor here. It'll prevent things from getting trapped. Usually, it's a detriment because fewer pegs is a sad thing. But no, it's, it's a good thing now. Who is a good little Poltorb Geist? You are. You are. You're doing great, honey. Keep it up. Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah, so that was absolutely cracked. I think I'm ready for a Jack Orb Lantern 2, probably. Probably. If I hit that refresh, it's golden. And it's, uh, odds are decent. Alright, it missed, but... Frankly, even if it doesn't hit the refresh, it's quite good. Hot damn, I love this build. I really hope I get the uh, new final boss. Because that boss is the epitome of just damage check. I mean, his layout is exactly the same as the wall. Alright, final shot to bring it home. It's a 10-10 stone. That's what I like to see. Perfectly balanced stat line. And I don't think I need another Poltorb Geist. That's all the AoE I think I need. Now what? Sappersack, Sealed Conviction? I don't like any of these. I mean, this is just worthless. These might just be straight up bad. And if I get the, um, the four figures boss fight, this is straight up bad too. I'm gonna do the unthinkable and skip the boss relic. Why some of these are just objectively bad, I don't know. Oh, and I got it. I got that boss fight. I, I honestly think the gift that keeps on giving plus kinetic meteorite is a death kneel in that boss fight. So I am proud of that skip. Sapersec maybe could have been done, but with my low HP, it's very easy to die to just getting one shot by red bombs. And we saw the build's perfectly good as is, so why need to ruin it if it's not broken? Okay, even without the damage buff, I still love Jack or Lantern. Let's get maximum healing. Um, I think it was maximum. Or at least it was close to maximum. I actually don't know how well Poltorb Guys works with this map. I want to avoid the crit, and I did. But unfortunately, did not kill anything. That's okay. My health is not going anywhere. And there's a chance this stone finishes him off. Here we go. Nope, that's okay. I'll go for another refresh orb. Refresh orb is guaranteed to hit a ton of pegs as well. So I'm always healing the full. Very nice. And it's over. Cool. I don't want any of these. Skip. Find a waterfall. I suppose I'll check behind the waterfall. There's a strong monster waiting for me. Great. Well, I mean, how bad could it be? I'm pretty sure the only thing I'm actually scared of is the boss fight. So I might as well, you know, enjoy this fight. Sometimes I get, like, you know, a relic. Sometimes I get to, to upgrade my orbs during them. It's a good deal. Sometimes I get a cool new orb that changes everything. Uh, do I want Jack of Lantern or should I just rush refresh orbs? I think I'm just gonna rush refresh orbs and get a bit of AoE damage along the way. Just a bit. Let's see. That's a lot of refreshing. It's so slow. There we go. Nice. And my crits are super OP. Not like I will get one. And that's max refreshes. Okay, good. I got good non-crit damage now. I'll just skip the stone. This one's pretty good. And now refresh orb is just objectively my best orb. I'm going to hit the most amount of pegs with it. 
Like, I'm not hitting much with two bells. I guess I'll hit a lot with Jack Orb Lantern. Uh, I kind of want to hit the refresh. Too bad the refresh means I'll hit the crits. I think that's okay, though. Well, sometimes you don't get the refresh. And you get the crit anyway. Well, maybe this time? This time. There we go. Sweet. Only thing I miss is uh, not being able to do too many cool power slides. Nah, what I'm talking about. This is a pretty cool power slide right here. I might as well take the 812 stone. That's uh, representing a ton of damage right there. Fortunately, not enough to kill. Well, this will almost certainly kill. And nearly a heal to full. No, I think I'll pass on it. Uh, plus one, plus zero for every crit on the board. Every shot is a crit when fired below 30% health. Yeah, that's 15 HP, which is not often. Betsy's hedge is sometimes good. I mean, it's never bad. Mirror fight, huh? Simple damage check. That only hurts a little. Very nice stat line. I imagine this to win. Perfect. Anything good? All or nothing is okay. I'll just skip. Prefer to see some upgrades. Whenever that happened, that'd be nice. Anything good? Oh, max HP. That is huge. I just got 50% more HP. Hot damn. Hey, I get a free upgrade. Put that on a stone. And I messed that up. Could have been a bit more careful. This fight's generally not too bad. Honestly, not as many refreshes as I expected. If I detonate the bomb, I can get some serious speed going. I actually really appreciate how the pegs that faded in and out of existence were able to spare my thing from getting stuck. That was nice. Okay, this guy's gonna die to a bomb, so I'll just target something else. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Definitely knew he was going to uh, die to a bomb, 100%. And hopefully this just wins on the spot. Honestly, no. That's a little disappointing. It's fine. It'll just take a bit longer. So my non-crit damage is kind of cracked, huh? I need to maybe get rid of my crits. I'm also thinking I now want to go for tier 3 refresh orb. Having one bad stone that I'm always discarding is cool by me. I might as well take the ability to just instantly get that nice refresh. Perfect. Definitely want more elite relics. Want to be absolutely stacked going into the boss fight. Send it. Ooh, that sent me more down than I expected, but a pretty good refresh chain. Plus one, plus one. I almost don't want Jack Orb Lantern because spawning at the top doesn't mean anything when the uh, the damn gravity things are up there. And also, I'm pretty sure it doesn't even do its thing if it goes into a gravity. See, I'll just enjoy my damage. Very good damage it is. More refreshing. I can throw it in here. Yeah, that's a nice cradle. Well, I think I still want to skip... The level one stone. I think this is still better, but it's tough to say. Nah, I think the level one stone would have been better, huh? Always take level three stone, though. There's a lot that can happen here. Lame this way. Yeah, so this is a tough map to get right. Well, always go crazy for a refresh orb. Please? No, it got stuck. Stuck upside down. Well, there's a world in which this wins. Whoa, whoa, where did that speed come from? No one damage. All right, just heal. Where did that speed came from? It like got a gravity boost <laughs> from the wells. I'll take the level three. And whenever I would lose health, reduce the amount lost by one or five pegs worth of damage. The oboe is insane against the quad final boss. I mean, that's four damage saved per turn. I want the left side. There's a path where I can get two chests and an elite. Maybe aim up here to try to get the most out of the healing. That didn't work. Almost sent me to the right side. 
I don't know what I'm doing, actually. What's the best way to make sure it stays left? These damn bombs are gonna boost me out and send me right, unless... <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I just couldn't resist. Oh, well. Post-battle healing is improved. Now what side do I want? Well, same amount of elites. Right side has more question marks. So at least I get the elites. I only miss out on the chest. This is fine. Duplicate an orb. I will gladly... Oh, refresh your Poltorb Geist. Poltorb Geist is nice against final boss, but it's gotta be refresh orb. This is the beauty of my deck. This is the theme of it. Duplicate all orbs or a random orb, huh? You know what? I'll take a random orb. See what I get. It was a refresh orb level three. That's what I like to see. Hell yeah. So I got four of these bad boys now. Uh, too bad they're pretty far down, huh? Well, I'm gonna start skipping so I can get to them sooner. Because the build goes nowhere unless I have my refresh orb. I will turn this build around, damn it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's keep going refresh orb. Scales nicely. Not my best. Okay, again, I just want to avoid the crit. Do not crit. Right, keep not critting. Good job. And now, I don't know if Poltergeist is good on this map, huh? Guess we'll find out. The answer is, well, that was a bad shot, but I guess it doesn't say for sure whether it's good or bad. All right, Jack Orb Lantern's almost surely gonna get a kill, unless if it somehow finds its way into gravity well. Which could happen. Actually, I'll tell you what. It's a little bit less damage than I expected. Still a good chance to kill, though. Nice. Kind of close. Aim it in here and see where this ends up. Not bad. And I'll go refreshing. And final shots. Stop it, he's already dead. Well, nothing to do except upgrade my last stone. It's just for show at this point, because I'm always skipping that stone. All right, this is a pretty good fight for Refresh Orb, I think. Well, I didn't even kill a thing. That's uh, frustrating. I don't want to go Jack Over Lantern because I don't want to deal damage to this back guy, because it also means I can't farm with Infernal Ingot. Yeah. I can only let Infernal Ingots hit it. Nothing else. It's refreshing time. Very nice. And it's just kind of... You got to go through the motions at this point. I don't think I killed... No, I killed something. If I could get something that would let me skip two orbs, that would be perfect. Because then I would most likely have a refresh orb every shot. Or the longest delay between refresh orbs would be one shot. And again, I don't want Poltorb Geist because we know that it will hit the back enemy and ruin my Infernal Ingot. And I'll keep going refresh orb. Plus 14 on grits. Pretty good. <laughs> this build is nasty. And a beautiful thing to kill it on. And I've maxed out my deck. So, prevent the first time I would lose health each battle or attacks gain minus one plus one for every crit on the board. I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing. I think this is a good thing, but only time will tell. Because I think as the run goes on, I'll be more focusing the crits. You can generally do that during the boss fight. Another upside down man. So I'm going to get a relic after this, right? This guy actually could hurt a little bit. Not bad. Let's keep doing it. Want to hit that crit? We do not. Pulp Torb Geist does not work on this map. 
That is a 7-9 stone. Very nice. Ooh, couldn't get that crit. Honestly, so far I'm regretting the short stack. It has been a net negative so far. And I guess I should have seen it coming knowing I have only one crit. I'm like, oh, I'm going to hit the crit. So it's going to be perfectly fine. It probably won't now. Oh, well. Damn it, I'm not hitting enough stuff. I need to figure out a good shot on this map that actually can farm maximum healing. Like, refresh shots are strictly better than non-refresh shots. Because they can hit more pegs. But even still... I'm barely hitting any. Dude, I might die if I'm not careful. Decent heal. It's like, I'd love to get in the middle, but none of these actually properly line up an entry to the middle. Ooh, that's a good one, though. Hitting that bomb. Thank you. Thank you. Decent heal to un end it all. Refresh the board when this orb leaves the pegboard. That's a no. They uh, changed the art for it, which is cool. But I'll gladly heal. Mental mantle for a little extra damage. Reach peg hits, which can add up. Or do I want powder collector? I don't think I want powder collector when I have the gift that keeps on giving and no way to refresh bombs. So mental mantle is quite good. How about I just do a quick heal to full? And hope that I'm ready for the final boss fights. I mean, this will not be a gimme at all. Even with their reduced 5,600 HP, I still got to target only two enemies and just get a ton of refreshing. Okay, now, good thing is, I'm pretty good at always getting maximum refreshes on this. So now I'm way better when critting. Let's go. Ooh, that might not have been maximum. And they're starting to hurt. Do I start to go in with Jack Orb Lantern? I mean, I might. It seems only good if I hit the crit. I mean, I could aim directly for it. Like that. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty good. Ooh, already we're starting with some pretty gnarly damage. I think I'm gonna keep refreshing. No need to stone. There is no reliable chance to be hitting this crit. Yeah, just get on the inside. At least I got a full heal. And then go back to aiming at this. This is a possible crit to reach. Uh, let's see. And that's a nope. God, everything's going for the crit. At least I can guarantee I'll hit the crit here. Although annoyingly, it's shielded by bombs. I gotta like... There we go, do that. Ooh, that's a big one. Wait, this this could just win on the spot. Oh, Poltorb, guys, I love you. <laughs> I freaking love you, dude. Oh, that's two kills. And damn near on the rest of them. Let's finish them off with some basic stonage. Well, it's only good if I hit the crit, though. Okay, you know what? Oh, that was bad. That's fine. Oh, I hit the crit. Nice. I was a bit of a coward with the whole refresh thing, but what's done is done. 717. Well, there's no way I lose this. That's for sure. God, what a cool run. I wasn't sure how exciting refreshes were going to be. I didn't even get the super amazing refresh relic that heals you for two every time you refresh. So the refresh orbs could have been full heal. I mean, this is even maximum power, but that was still sick. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun playing this one. I don't think there's that much more to do in the update, though. So I will be awaiting the next update of this game. Hopefully they have more Crucible levels. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.